good evening everybody and welcome to another Cities with John episode. I am John Harper and I am thrilled to have you along for the ride as I bring another Cities with John video. And um, you know I've been working on this city for a little while. I've built plazas and malls and interstates and train lines and different things and uh, but my latest most I would say most time consuming part of the map so far has been um, this industrial part <clears throat> and I've really enjoyed doing it and uh, hope you've enjoyed the videos I'm getting some uh, cool feedback and stuff uh, shout out to Jeremiah Black, Nate Eubank, and uh, Frustrated Canadian. I'm not really sure why he's frustrated. I'd like to know. But um, today's video, I will be uh, working on a little bit more residential area. As the last video, I was starting the residential part of this forestry industrial area and giving these Sims a place to live, by God, that's reasonable. In price but not reasonable when it comes to air quality ah the pollution of my town is awesome I uh, on my first video you know I had some sky rise well not sky rise high rise apartments they weren't huge um, but I'm gonna kind of continue that trend here um, adding some more larger buildings in that are um, the more dense residential style not really anything too major but this view is a great view and I feel like this is an area that people would want to live in um, you know it's close to a lot of good jobs and has a great view of the uh, Harper Ocean, that's what we're going to call it. As you can see at the bottom, it says the, the city's name is Las Palma, but that was just the default name. I really don't have a name picked out. My video that it has the steel frame, or not steel frame, but the, the uh, angles that are just stationary angles um, are called nowhere land for a reason because I don't really have a uh, I don't really have a name for my city yet I haven't really figured that part out so um, but past this little junction I'm gonna keep things a little bit smaller in stature so using some of the ploppable condominium style modern condominium styles I used a few of these over in the earlier part of my map actually the area that I did um, actually the area that I did before I even started doing some of these YouTube videos and um, I thought they looked really neat and they're simple um, but also high level of detail and they they look good and they look good in this area this is going to be a um, as a reminder um, you know the idea behind this area is a green friendly area that you know people rely on doing a lot of walking and a lot of exercising to get to work and um, I have no mass transit of any style there's no buses over here no trams no uh, easy ways to get to work other than either driving to work or walking so and so far it has really made a difference everybody's getting around um, pretty easily and um, it seems to be coming together so I've gone pretty heavy on sidewalks and things like that just trying to make sure that um, the access to the main roads around the industrial area are easy to get to 
and I've kind of found that using sidewalks when you have a lot of gap space in between buildings and um, in areas where you have some larger buildings that are kind of gridded um, putting in sidewalks can really make a difference as far as just adding a little bit of uh, thickness overall you know you, you can only put so many plants and trees before it looks like you're just trying to fill up dead space so having those sidewalks kind of helps complete the look um, of an area I think um, the road here the main boulevard has a median with two um, hedge type things and in the middle there as you can see at the bottom of the screen uh, the main boulevard the people actually walk on that part of it and then the closer to where the traditional sidewalk would be is just being used for um, parking and at first uh, originally if you if you saw episode one or uh, no I'm sorry it, it was episode two when I first started doing the residential area you might remember that I made that road a tram uh, road with the idea that I was gonna have a tram that just basically circled this entire area and I think it would have been kind of cool but there's even with these bigger buildings and the housing that I'm putting in today there's really not gonna be a huge uh, amount of people living over here uh, just south of this forestry uh, industry you're looking at maybe a couple thousand once everything is filled up so I didn't really think that that justified having the tram. I am kind of want to save that kind of stuff for my downtown area, which I know is going to be a huge undertaking um, when I get to it. So a simple setup here. Um, putting in some of those smaller apartments in behind the larger ones, I think, kind of gives it a um, you know, more realistic look these people don't have the best view they're kinda looking at the other apartments and the other buildings but they're still in the heart of it all um, on this uh, of, on this strip and then eventually I will be adding some commercial um, right below where this is on the other side of that boulevard just haven't really decided how I'm going to handle that obviously I don't want to put like a Walmart you know, I want it to be a little bit more upscale, a little bit more, um, more like strip, strip mall type stuff. Um, so here I was going to kind of build a playground, and then I remembered, oh yeah, there's a pretty cool asset building that came with Park Life. And that's actually part of the, um, like nature. I believe that's part of the nature reserve um, park but it looks really good and it's everything you'd want a sandbox a little playground I mean I think it worked out pretty pretty well there so so here as I was saying adding in those sidewalks and you know not only does it give your people an alternative to walking around hectic and busy uh, corners with traffic and stuff they can cut through get to the areas they need to go to a little bit quicker and that's what the people around here want they want to be able to walk to places as easy as possible um, and I think that another thing that these people want is some outdoor um, living areas um, and that's what I'm building here um, as you can tell I have not got the mod that gets rid of the grass decoration that's just built into the ground so I'm going to be covering that up using surface painter which I'm doing right now and getting uh, just using the dirt underneath and, and knocking out that um, yes I can get the mod I know I know about the mod but not too worried about that mod and actually I don't really mind that look on some of the grass 
if I'm not putting down a decal. Uh, in this case I was. So what I do is I use a surface painter and where it comes out and kind of like the dirt kind of sticks out like you're seeing there. Um, I uh, just use some uh, vegetation to cover that up. Uh, that's kind of where I just, uh, you know, end up putting my bushes and stuff. And yeah, I know you could say, well, it's kind of a cheap way to like cover up that look but it actually I think once you do that it kind of uh, makes it look a little bit more realistic anyway having the dirt underneath the plants and stuff and you can't even tell that that's what it is when it's all said and done you'd probably notice too that I just put a little some little grass piles on top of the concrete and that's just supposed to be kind of like a uh, you know weeds kind of growing through a crack in that concrete but this is going to give the people a nice little place uh, to chill out, grill some burgers, and hang out with their neighbors that live in the same condominium. It always puts the umbrellas. The umbrellas are not connected to the tables. You have to put them separate, so it sometimes when it puts them in there, puts them real low it's like yeah I don't think anybody can sit there it's gonna be hitting them right in the face that uh, wouldn't be good wouldn't be comfortable so again just adding a little bit of uh, greenery here or there just to kind of fill things up um, adding a few little extra details and stuff nothing too fancy as far as flowers and things in this area I haven't really um, well you will see that I do add, excuse me, I do add more to it, um, but, um, you know, these are some busy people, you know, working around the clock in this forest industry or in the oil industry next door. They're very busy and they're not worried about their uh, shrubbery all the time. At least that's what I think about in my head because I'm a, a sick individual. One mod I saw the other night that I was thinking about getting was one that eliminated all trees on the map that are vanilla trees. So any tree that is in game is would be history. I'm not really sure if I want to pull the trigger on that. It also takes them away from buildings. So like if a house has a tree built into the actual like property when you put it down and a lot do and it's very annoying when they do because a lot of times you're you're trying to take like the same house and you're wanting to just put them side by side over and over and over and make a roll of them and if they all have a tree in the same exact spot it's very unrealistic looking it works if you're zoning but if you're if you're just plopping, uh, using plop the growables and you're just putting the stuff down, it just doesn't, I think, it doesn't look right. So, um, I haven't pulled the trigger yet on um, getting rid of all those vanilla trees, but there's really not that many other than the ones that are tied to the houses. There are some on. Um, there are some on the shores where some of the palm trees and stuff are, but I don't know. And I don't. And I don't know anything about that mod. Um, it might be a bloody penguin mod. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to screw up the game by any means. But I don't know if, like, once you eliminate the vanilla trees, if you can ever go back and get them. And I do have the mod where I can actually edit the the buildings and actually adjust the props that are tied into the buildings. But I haven't found a way to do multiple buildings. So to go through every single building that you want to take out the trees, the it's just way too much work. And some of the vanilla trees don't look all that bad and some of them don't look good at all. So it's just a complete crapshoot um, when it comes to 
how you know I want them to want them to look. My phone is uh my phone is currently currently blowing up. Let's see what these people want. Hello. Yeah. How do you like that? I'll just take a phone call while I'm doing these videos. I work retail and uh, I have a an issue with the alarm panel. Every night at 8.35 I get a phone call from ADT and it's like telling me that something's wrong with the uh, alarm panel and I'm like yeah I just push the disregard button. I'm sure the building's burning down and everything's on fire, but that's okay. I'm making a YouTube video. Forty people might watch this. Oh boy, what a life! So you can see, I'm kind of doing some extra details here, and kind of uh, throwing in a few little road decals along the way. Put in some flower beds next to that apartment. I like using those curbs because they kind of give um, more definition to the sidewalks of where they're at when you have a sidewalk that kind of combines with the pavement look of buildings sometimes you need something to kind of break up that um, look a little bit and that's what I did uh, with those uh, curb flower beds and then these flower beds are just part of the park life pack uh, for the general park and I don't like using them all that much but if you use them sparingly and then just different a few different areas um, they don't look bad so this is kind of a finished uh, product um, all of a sudden it started raining because every time I load up my custom LUT it does not have the uh, it does not have the rain turned off so that's pretty awesome um, now I am gonna add a little bit more uh, to this uh, corner here in a second um, and uh, you know adding just little bits and pieces here or there of some different things I think uh, I think goes a long way so here I added in a fountain with some uh, greenery around it and I think that looked really good and kind of added a little bit of extra touch there and um, gave the citizens in this area something to uh, be proud of and enjoy in their little community so um yeah i mean i think that i think that looked good so um uh, uh i like that billboard up there too for some club that looks pretty cool love those tall buildings love those tall buildings in the background um but yeah this is an area that is is family friendly that uh i think anybody would uh enjoy living in and you can see the ocean there in the background and yes there is a uh, a port area where I have uh, oil rigs and things of that nature and it's a little ran down and it's not completely finished over there anyway so it's not the greatest view um, but they do get to see the ocean do get to see some water rather peaceful looking out their window and uh, after a hard day of uh, work in the forced industry or the oil industry or whatever makes pollution um, you know they need to rest and have a, an adult beverage and uh, yeah look at the ocean so there on the right you see that open area of grass that's where I'm thinking about doing some commercial and I'll be in a video in the future I'm about to wrap up this residential area and probably wrap up this uh, entire forest industry um, and move on to my next industry that's going to be on this gigantic industrial island. The whole island's going to be industrial, so uh, I'm just kind of doing one industrial area after another using the industry's downloadable content. And, um, you know, 
the things you can do with the industries DLC uh, are really cool and I really really enjoy them a place to be you a winner is you that's what the girl's saying up there um, so yeah I hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you're enjoying these uh, series of the forest industry videos I'm uh, open for comments and suggestions and things to make my city even better I see a lot of uh, people posting all sorts of uh, there's all sorts of cities videos out there but uh, I think I'm doing a pretty good job and I'm, I'm hoping that you're enjoying seeing some of these uh, areas I'm setting up but there's a good shot of the residential area that I'm just about done with I'm gonna move on to I don't know the commercial area maybe around this thanks for watching guys hit the like button subscribe have a good night